Link Amahan is a love story that begins in the 18th century and uh, it's about two people who want to live outside the boundaries of the society they've been born into. So they sort of go on an adventure. Plays always come out of a strange melee of things. I was in the British Library doing some reading and I came across the trial records of this true story um, about a couple in the 18th century and I was amazed that it was a real narrative, it was so dramatic. But this particular story maybe feels like it speaks to the fact that different genders and different sexualities and different love stories have always existed and they've slightly been written out of the dominant narrative inevitably because a lot of the time they were illegal. So this is a story that seeks to kind of tell a true-ish story from history and present it to the audience and say, look, this has always been here. I think one thing that shocked me when I was doing my research was that in the kind of 16th, 17th century, the belief was that uh, in order to conceive a baby, both the man and the woman needed to have an orgasm. And in the 18th century with the Enlightenment, they disproved that, which is a bad century for women, I feel. So uh, yeah, I, I suppose that made me think that like knowledge does not always result in happiness. I think the upstairs space at Hampstead is so brilliant because it has a real sense of the epic possibilities, the proportions, you can like really play with scale. And also, I guess I have had such an amazingly supportive relationship with Hampstead. It's really meaningful to me to, to be asked. To